Hey there, in this Invato Tuts Plus quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can fill type with images in InDesign. This is a really great way of adding more interest and fun to drop caps or headings, and it's also super easy to do once you know how. Okay, so here I have InDesign open, and I'm gonna show you the result that we're aiming for, Blue Peter style. So I've created a simple magazine spread with two facing pages, and I've got this nice big header across the center of the layout. To add a bit more interest to the header, I've filled the uppercase T with a photo of a cloudy sky. The blue matches up really nicely with the blue that I've used on the rest of the text. And this technique is also a really nice way of making more of a connection between the meaning of the text and the image. So for example, Tuts Plus is all about learning and finding new inspiration for creating designs. So the blue sky with the clouds is a nice way of connecting with a metaphor of thinking and creativity. Okay, so let's dive in to creating this. So I'll scroll down where I've got another copy of the layout. So for any text you want to fill with an image, you should set this into its own text frame. So switch to the type tool by selecting it from the tools panel or hitting T on your keyboard. Drag to create a large text frame on the page and type in a letter such as T here. Highlight that and let's get the font size a bit bigger so we can see what we're working with. Okay. Now for this effect to really work, you need a good chunky font. So look out for display fonts or really bold font weights. But ultimately, as long as the letter doesn't have any breaks across it, it's going to work just fine. I'm going to go for lobster. OK, and get that font size up to the size you need. I'm going to blow it up nice and big to 750. Switch to the selection tool and get that text frame into position. And make sure you're happy with the style of the font because we're going to need to vectorize this to allow us to fill it with an image. OK, so with the text frame selected, head up to type and create outlines. Awesome. So that instantly vectorizes your letter. Then you need to remove any color from the letter by going up to the swatch menu on the controls panel and setting the fill color to none. Okay, it's time to start filling it up with an image. So with the letter selected, go to file and place. I'm going to have a play around with this ocean wave image, which is pretty cool. So click open. You can resize your image by using the frame options on the controls panel or just click on the central circular icon to select the image directly. And then you can scale this up and down while holding shift and get that nicely positioned. Hmm, okay, so my only reservation about this image is that the blue isn't quite the right tone that I'm looking for. It's a bit too green, but that's no problem. You can change your mind by just heading back up to file and place. I'm gonna go for this cloudy sky image instead and open and get that resized. Okay, awesome. That's a perfect fit for this layout. I'm really pleased with that. So it's as simple as that. First, choose the right font style, then outline your text and place an image inside. So quick, so simple and really effective. So have fun experimenting with your own images and text.